evening, Key High Blackbird hockey fans. Welcome to Keen Ice here for a Saturday night matchup between the Manchester Memorial Crusaders and your Keen High Blackbird. I'm Ben Brown bringing you tonight's action. Zone. Russell there to chase. Keith from Noah Pirelli to get that puck to Ethan Russell. Hard shot there from freshman defenseman Casey Moore, but Brandon Burroughs brings it over the line for the Crusaders. Russell now with it. Russell looking to move that puck to Colin Flint. Peter Haas making a nice keep there. Back to play it is Burgess for the Crusaders. And he's going to throw that around. And Robbie now is going to get his first touch and nice throw it around. And he's going to come back to his deep partner, Peter Haas. Haas shooting. They're off the side there by Cody Boyce. And Boyce tripped up on the play. So we're going to get a penalty called on the Blackbirds. It's going to be a tripping call. Robbie Nowell is going to go for the Blackbirds on the trip. So the Crusaders with an early power play chance here, not even a minute into the game. Jonah Murphy I'd take the face off against Kenny McIntyre. Hoss sends that puck down. Murphy. Moving the puck to Burroughs. Burroughs to the center. And Ison is waved off here. Puck shot back on net. And goalkeeper Landon Wilson moving it to his defense. Kenny McIntyre now over the line. McIntyre throws that puck in deep. Picked up by Team Jonah Murphy. Jonah Murphy now on the line. He's going to backhand that in deep and he's going to score check it. Ethan Russell with a good play on the puck. Keep that in his attack and going to kill time on this early man advantage for the Crusaders. Russell hard on McIntyre. McIntyre losing a glove. And it looks like the Blackbirds are going to go again now. So a five on three opportunity once the Blackbirds get possession of this puck on a delayed call. Puck thrown out front, and Chase Hill is going to pick that puck up. And I believe Ethan Russell is going to go for what looks like a hook. So, 12.43 remaining in the first period, and the Blackbirds have already taken two penalties. 42 seconds remaining on the infraction by Nowell, and during these next 42 seconds, Memorial will be up five on three. McIntyre out of the corner, cross three, shooting, save there from goaltender Jacob Russell. Russell getting the start tonight, net. McIntyre down to the corner, out to Boyce. Boyce with it on the corner. Memorial setting up. Cross the shot to score. Brandon Burroughs buries a one-time opportunity on a nice cross crease pass and Memorial taking an early lead here on the two-man advantage. So out of the box comes now and Russell remains in the box for his team. Take the face off against Kenny McIntyre. McIntyre winning that forward to Colin Field. Field back to McIntyre. McIntyre across the line to Murphy, and it's going to come all the way up and out where Wilson will play it behind his net. Murphy now behind his own net. Murphy to Burroughs. Burroughs 
up to McIntyre. McIntyre over the line. McIntyre in the corner. Behind the net now, looking to wrap it around and goaltender Jacob Russell stuffing that with the pad and covering it up. So 103 remaining in the penalty kill. Crusaders off to an early lead on a power play goal from Brandon Burroughs. Peter Koss going that through. Catch with a stick by Murphy. Powell aside by Russell and Joel Beard in a battle with Murphy and Murphy picks up the puck. McIntyre looking cross street for Boyd but can't connect. Now a safety voice for the board, and voice takes that off the head. On the line, the puck's going to come out, and Burroughs is going to pick it up and regroup with half a minute to go on the power play. Burroughs into the corner. Burroughs throws it around to the opposite corner, and McIntyre picks up the puck. Memorial looks to set the power play, but can't connect on the pass, and Wilson back to play the puck. Murphy moving the puck to Burroughs is picked off by Team Peter Haas. Haas is going to send that two and one to go on the penalty to Russell and he's back into the action. Murphy over the line. Brandon Murphy out front. Gloved aside by Jacob Russell, the team goaltender. And his twin brother Ethan Russell picked up the puck. Flipping that through center, Noah Pirelli is going to grab it, number three for the Blackbirds. And Colin French in on the forecast. Out front, Haas is going to pick up the puck and it's going to come out of the zone. Casey Moore is backhanding that in deep as the Blackbirds regroup. So the Crusaders throw that puck down and it makes contact with nobody, so we'll get an icing with 10.05 remaining in the first period as the Blackbirds get an offensive zone faceoff. Russell out with French and Pirelli to take a drop against Kenny McIntyre. Blackbirds win that puck, comes out and could stick there from the Memorial attacker, Colin Fields. Connects with Pirelli and McIntyre wanting a pass there in the blue line can't quite connect. McIntyre battling behind the net. Moves it up to follow up. And Russell's gonna take it over his attacking blue line. Russell out of the corner. Russell looking in front. No one home. Off tipping around the Memorial forward, and the puck can come out on the stick of Ethan Russell. Russell moves that to a fast-moving Murphy. Shooting high, wide, that's going to roll all the way up and around. Come back to the D zone, and behind the net, sophomore forward, Joel Beer to play. Beer out to Nowell. Nowell picking up speed, finds Leo Valero. Valero over the line, but it's kicked off by Burroughs. Burroughs knocked down by Beard, and Beard sends that puck in deep. In the chase is Leo Bolero, and helping him out is his centerman, Beard. But Burroughs comes out with the puck. Burroughs moving it across the ice, and it's picked up by Boyd. Good play from Casey Moore to strip Boyd from the puck, and Leo Bolero is going to throw that to safety. Good keep the feet from Casey Moore, but Parker Burns is able to send that puck deep around behind the team net. Peter Hoss, senior staff from the center in that little bit over the line. Hoss dangling his way through. He's going to get on net, and Hoss was tripped up on the play. It looks like we're not going to get a call there after he had lost the puck. So an offensive zone face-off is Landon Wilson covers that puck. 8-0-1 to go now in the first period of this game between the Blackbirds and the Crusaders. Keith and Russell have to take the drop against McIntyre. Russell wins it, and it's knocked into the corner by the Memorial defense. Mark 
trips, moves it out of the corner, and it's kept in by Nowell. But over his stick and out to Chase Chill, sophomore defense. Battling is McIntyre and Nowell, and Nowell takes it into a corner. Looking across the ice is Nowell for French, and Memorial is going to get a chance on a birthday shooting. Save there with the love of Black. It looks like they had a penalty here as I believe Ethan Russell is going to go again for some contact he had in the corner there with Nick to close to our breakaway. So Russell to the box again now. Second time this period for a rough as Memorial gets there. Third power play of the game. McIntyre out to take the face off against Pirelli. Pirelli winning that ball cleanly moves it to Nowo. Now is going to send it into his own vent. So another offensive zone face off for the Crusaders. the puck again and he's going to send that hard behind the net of Memorial. Brandon Burroughs, the lone goal scorer in this game, moving the puck up to his teammate. Moved over to Cody Voice and Voice is going to send that deep. Murphy to Burroughs up to McIntyre. McIntyre on cross three pass there. Looking for Murphy. Comes, puck comes up and Voice shoots it wide. Voice tries to keep that puck in, but it comes out to the goaltender Wilson. He throws it to the middle. Now we'll pick that puck off, but couldn't get a clean stick on it. So over the line with it now is Burke. In the corner, Burroughs moves to Voice. Out to Murphy. Get it on the point. McIntyre out front. Murphy with a chance. Burroughs with a chance. And Boyce is going to try to move that puck down the Burke. Robbie now getting a good stick on that. And he'll send it all the way down to kill off some time on this penalty kill. Back with the puck is. Cody Boyce, and Boyce is going to send that puck hard off the boards and all the way down from icing. So 5.44 to go in this first period. And the Blackbirds once again on the penalty kill. Ethan Russell is in the box for a rough. 19 seconds to go in an offensive zone faceoff for the Blackbirds after that icing. Puck checks in by Peter Haas. He'll send it around the Boards. Over to the opposite corner. French and Pirelli out there for the Blackbirds. And Casey Moore is going to throw it to the middle. It's kicked off by the close. Going through the middle now. Toss back to play it. And Russell back on the ice knocking the man off the puck there. Casey Moore throwing that through the middle. Good keep from Casey Moore. And back to play it on the black here down the corner. Colin French throws that through. It makes contact with Fottawa, so no icing on the play. Living it around is Memorial. That's going to come all the way out over the blue line of the Blackbirds out there. So Chase Hill is quick up to Noah Pirelli who takes a slap shot. And a rebound chance for Jonah Murphy. And Hill losing the puck in the skates. And Brandon Burroughs is going to take over the line. Burroughs opening his feet. He throws it through the middle. And it's picked up by Pirelli. Pirelli throws it directly through the middle. The puck can't be kept by Fottle. Burroughs 
to Boyce. Boyce out of the corner, looking back for Burroughs. Can't find the bottom of the A rocket of a shot went high to the right, to the glove side of the world champion Jacob Russell. Murphy over to Beer. Beer dangling. He gets hit high, and it looks like we're going to get a penalty on that. Play. Yep, and there's, there's the whistle. So we're going to get an elbowing call as Murphy, uh, as Beard was hit high by number 16, Chase Paula. So the Blackbirds are their first man advantage of the evening with 3.54 to go in this first period. Beard out to take the face off now. Beard will take it in Parker Burton. First wins that down to Murphy, and Murphy the top is going to send that card around to the D zone for the Blackbirds. Picking up the puck is Robbie now, looking over his option, moves the puck to Peter Hoss. That's off of the shoot, but Hoss makes the play on it, moving it over to Valero. Now we'll now behind the net. Now we're we'll looking for Murphy. Murphy with a good play there with his feet to kick it to the corner. But Brandon Murphy is going to shoot that puck all the way down and show off some more time on this man advantage for the Blackbirds. Hoss surveys the ice from behind the net. Moving it up, looking for Nowell. In Nowell's feet, and Nowell's going to send it hard to the corner. Brandon Murphy up to Colin Fields, and Jacob Russell is going to come out to play that puck. Good play there from Russell, being aware of, what, of the situation and keeping the attacker from having a breakaway chance. 45 to go now on the man advantage for the Blackbirds. Hawk moves it up through the middle, and Pirelli tries to get it in deep, but can't. Valero back for Casey Moore. Casey Moore to Hoss and Hoss up to Colin French. Hoss going to be sent all the way down behind the goal of Russell and Casey stripped up on the play there but makes the play move the puck to the corner board. Morris throws it up for Pirelli and kicked off by Bitt. Peter Foss now with it, into the feet of Colin French and Ethan Russell with a chance shooting, saved with a glove by goaltender Landon Wilson. Good chance there for Ethan Russell, but he can't convert on that shot from the high slot. He was gloved by Wilson, so 151 remaining in this first period. As the all-sophomore line comes out for the Blackbirds, Beard's going to take it against McIntyre for the Crusaders. Beard wins that back to Murphy, but McIntyre's hard on the puck. Nick the close there, battling with... Nowell. And Brandon Murphy's going to move it. And it's picked up by the Blackbirds. Now out to Beard. Beard cross ice to Murphy. Jonah Murphy for the Blackbirds. Rims that puck around and finds the centerman Beard. It's picked up by Max Fritz. Thrown out front and Valero gets a good stick on that and he'll take it to the corner. Valero hard around. Thrown up by McIntyre and it's going to make contact. No, it will not make contact. Now go for an icing. So 101 remaining in this first period. Crusaders from Manchester Memorial lead this game on an early power play goal from Brandon Burroughs. Burroughs had to take the face off now against Torelli. Torelli wins that clean. And the puck moves to team Paul and French. Burroughs with it behind the net. Up to Boyce. Boyce finding Burgess, and Burgess on a breakaway. A nice play from I believe we're going to have the call on the ice is going to be a goal. I'm sure of what happened there.
so the call on the ice is a goal with 44 seconds left. Keen Bench unhappy with that call. Parker Burgess is going to have it. Ethan Russell. I think we are having an offside call and Russell running into Brandon Burroughs. So Russell's going to go. Burroughs is also going to go. and the teams will remain at five on five. So Boston are set to go on a power play, but Ethan Russell is heading to the box to uh, match and play there. And Peter Hoss tips that puck in deep. Beard with it now. Shooting. Saved by Wilson. Now we got another And Valero was tripped up in the corner as so Parker Burgess is going to go to the box for Memorial. Some crazy amounts of penalties being taken early in this game by both teams. So a man advantage now with 21.9 seconds to go in the first for the Blackbirds. Sophomore line out to take it. Beard wins that puck to Nowell, and Nowell gets it to Murphy. Murphy shooting on the backhand, didn't quite get what he would have liked here, and he must lose the ball. Five seconds to go in the period. Looking to move the puck to the front, shooting, and a save from Wilson is kind of fired. Jonah Murphy had a good opportunity there, but could not convert. So after one, the score is 2 nothing in favor of the guests. Memorial Crusaders. Please stay tuned as we'll bring you second period action live from Keen Ice momentarily.
Blackbird on a man advantage to start this game. So Murphy connecting with Foss there to avoid an icing. And the Blackbird's gonna set up the power play. Bound behind the net is Joel Beard and Brandon Murphy. A minute and 10 to go on the power play for the Blackbirds as now we'll pick the puck up and we'll skate it up. Stand up. Trying to the middle. Murphy gets a stick on that puck and it's out to the corner. Looking in the front is now and Colin Fields is going to come up with it for the Crusaders. Fields throws that in deep to kill off more time on this man advantage for the Blackbirds. Back to play it is Chase Hill for the Blackbirds. And he's going to move it up over center and try to move it in, but is knocked offside on the play. So, 30 seconds to go on the man advantage for the Blackbirds. Now we'll back to play it behind his own net. Now we'll flip up there to Valero and it goes through Murphy. Kenny McIntyre in front of the scorer's booth. He's going to send that puck in and kill it even more time. Ten to go now on the power play for the Blackbirds to start this second, half, second period. Valero trying to throw through the middle. Can't quite get to him. And it's going to be thrown all the way back to Hill. McIntyre getting a stick on that puck. And Max Strip is going to pick it up. McIntyre leaving for Murphy. Murphy back for the close. Thrown out front, saved by Jacob Russell. And Puff will come to the top. Good block shot there from sophomore center Joel Beard, but then ices the puck, and the Blackbirds will get some fresh legs out on the ice. So, 12.49 remaining in the second period of this game. Memorial leading 2-0 over the Blackbirds. Both teams back to even strength. Casey Moore is out of the corner. He throws the puck up his wing to French, but it's kept in at the point by follow Puck thrown in. And Ethan Russell is going to pick it up and bring it over his attacking blue line. Russell throws it out front in a swing bounce off the stick of Keith Follow up. Almost resulted in a goal there for Ethan Russell, senior captain. Parker Bird just over the line for the Crusaders. And Colin French is going to throw that cross ice. Back to play is. Ethan Wallington, but it moves all the way to the goaltender, Landon Wilson. Wallington up to Boyce. Boyce over the line. Looking at slap shot. Lost the side to the pad of Russell. And Peter Haas trying to tip that through. Shooting. Fired up after that goal. 11:40 remaining in the second period, and Memorial finding themselves up three goals to none. On the top of the side point, Hawks go big follow. Over the blue line now for the Crusaders is Kenny McIntyre, saved by Jacob Russell and. Beard's going to try to move it to Jonah Murphy, but kept in again by Colin Fields for Manchester the North. Over center now, one on two is Jonah Murphy for the Blackbirds. He knocked off the puck and goes to the corner. Up the boards, I'm trying to pace with Casey Moore's, but a two on one result with McIntyre. McIntyre, a good defensive play, Peter Hawk playing out. Keeps Kenny McIntyre outside on a good two-on-one chance for the Crusaders. 
Guerrero kicking across the ice to Murphy, but the two can't connect and it stays in the defensive zone for the block. Guerrero trying to move that puck out off the shin guards of Haw, and it's going to be kept in again by Chase Fields, Colin Fields. Puck going down and iced by the Blackbirds. So defensive zone face off now with 10.25 remaining in the second period. Forward line centered by Ethan Russell tonight with Colin French and Noel Pirelli to his wing. Looks like Now is going to come in to take the draw. Looks like we have a looks like we have a change in the a lineup. back of the net once here in this second period, putting them up 3 nothing in this game. Sophomore line out to take the drop. Beard wins that to the corner, and Chase Hill throws it in hard to the back way. Penalty coming here as Murphy was cross-checked to the line by Chase Fadala. Memorial's latest goal scorer now becomes the latest person to take a penalty in a game riddled with penalties. So to the man advantage again go the Blackbirds as they have the their all sophomore line out there with junior captain Robbie Nowell and senior captain Peter Hoff. Hoff over to Nowell on the power play. Nowell down to Murphy, back to Nowell. Now shooting wide of the goal, and it's picked up on a good play by Joel Beer. Haas looking D to D for now, but the puck's not come out of the zone, and the Blackbirds have to regroup. Jonah Murphy now over the middle. Murphy shooting. He's gonna pick the puck up on the board and try to move to Haas. A good play from Brandon Burroughs to pick that puck up and move it through. Leo Bolero sending that in deep in the Blackbird's face. He's trying to keep it with Hawk. Burroughs hard behind him, and he's going to take it out of the offensive zone corner. Burroughs stick handles through. Hawk hard on him, and Burroughs is going to move it out to safety. Brandon Murphy with it now. Memorial Captain throws it directly into the glove of Now. Now he's going to try to throw that in, and it hit a Blackbird who had already entered the zone, so a neutral zone face-off is going to be taken at center ice on that offside call for the Blackbirds. 58 seconds remaining on the man advantage for the Blackbirds, looking to get on the scoreboard for the first time tonight. They bring out Pirelli, Russell, and Anna Chevy. Russell with it. Russell over center. Finds Pirelli. Staying on side is Anna Chevy. Keeping that puck is Puck going around to Brandon Murphy. And Puck had come out. Good play with the stick to knock that puck out of the air from Casey Moore. Moore is moving it back to Haw. 22 remaining on the man advantage to the Blackbirds. Haw, do some traffic. Looking for Russell, can't connect. Good stick on Colin Fields. 
But Memorial dominating play here on the man advantage between high. Russell's gonna kick that in deep in her face. Behind the net, the captain Brandon Murphy with it for the Crusaders. Murphy to field. Fired in by Malum off the glove of Wilson. And Corelli's gonna go to chase. McIntyre behind his own net. Throws it up the wing to Fields. Fields to the middle. Out of the corner. Looking back door for the close can't find him. Close knocking Russell. Comes out to McIntyre. McIntyre with a nice move forward to the front. A good save to the shoulder from Jacob Russell. Tucks him from off and Brandon Murphy's gonna make contact. Pull that back to the zone for neutral zone face-off with 6.25 remaining in the second period between the Blackbirds and Crusaders. Sophomore line out for Blackbirds with Luke Weber. Weber battling, Murph, uh, Beard. Now battling. By Parker Burgess. Puck thrown around and Chase Hill back to play. Hill flips out through the middle and Chase Barlow will come back to play it. Austin Ross Barlow, a good play to keep it by Foss, but it goes off a body. Foss runs it and the puck off the puck. And Chase Hill is going to fire that all the way around. Past the goal line for the Crusaders, and we'll get an icing whistle here with 5:46 to go. Blackbird being outshot in this game, 12 to nine, and the score still three nothing in favor of the away team. Crowley really throws that around the boards. Can't connect with Russell. Comes out to Murphy. Murphy to field. He's going to move all the way up and out to Alexander. French throws that through the middle, but it's took off by field. Field's now the corner, looking out front. He can't connect with McIntyre. McIntyre now about it. He said there's win that puck battle as Nick Faust comes out with it. Faust looking for McIntyre. McIntyre walking on the ship and shooting. Nice save there with the pads is Jacob Russell for the Blackbirds. Russell doing his best to keep the Blackbirds in the game. Casey Moore's with it now. Moore's backing that up the wing and it's going to come all the way out. Firing it in deep for the Crusaders. And the Blackbirds move it out of their zone. Colin French up to Noah Pirelli. And a shot gloved by Landon Wilson. So 432 remaining in the second period. An offensive zone faceoff for the Blackbirds. Now the all sophomore line out to take the face off as the center will be tossed out for Memorial. Chase Hill fires that puck in. Back to play it is Deer and Hoss is going to fire it deep into the zone. Deer out of the corner. Looking for Murphy. Can't connect. And it's going to come up to Adam Shot gloved by Russell in an offensive zone faceoff to the glove side of Russell here for Manchester Memorial. Brandon Burroughs out to take it against number 14, Joel Beard, for the Blackbirds. Burroughs wins it cleanly. Shot hit Burroughs out front. He looks like he's going to win the paint. But a 
And now we're going to get a delayed penalty to be able to two on one chance. Shooting. Oh, last was Joel Beard on that two on one opportunity. So the Blackbirds again on a power play as Leo Bolero got tripped up on that play. So number 17, Ethan Wallington to the box on a tripping call. 3.45 remaining in the second period. And the Blackbirds find themselves on a man advantage again. Unable to convert on their chances. By the Blackbirds thus far. Okay, Robbie now is going to take the face off. Now will win that forward. Get the shot off. Powered to the corner by Wilson. Puck fired in and Anastasia's down. Off of Murphy for the Crusaders. And now is going to take it around the net. Now look at that bunch of off. Hawk shooting, he scores! Harvey now will find Peter Hawk in the middle. And on a offhand one timer, Peter Haas, the senior captain, finds the back of the net for the first time in this game for his Blackbirds. They cut the lead to two for Memorial, and the bench for the Blackbirds is excited after that one. So a power play goal, and the Blackbirds right back in this game, making it 3-1 with 25 remaining in the second period. Back to play the puck with goal for Peter Hoss. He throws it up, but it's tipped off by Fields. Fields on the goal line, looking for McIntyre back door, but a good play from Russell to paddle that puck aside. Hoss up the wing, finds Russell. Russell throws it through center, and that's not going to connect with anyone. It's going to be called no icing. Brandon Murphy winning that around. Jonah Murphy for the Blackbirds picking it off. Puck's gonna come up in a two-on-two -two chance now as and a delayed offside call there by the referee, but he determines the Crusaders did in fact go offside. So 241 and the Blackbirds making it interesting. Peter Hawk scores from Robbie now on the power play. Casey Moores now with it. Moores takes it into his defensive corner. Moores up for Jonah Murphy on the consider Brandon Murphy. Rebound shot, and it looks like it's on top of the net. A good chance for Joel Beard from Jonah Murphy as the all sophomore line gets one of their highest quality opportunities of the game. Blockers really looking for them to step up here in this game and find the back of the net. Getting the opportunities, can't quite convert. Burroughs wins that puck. Murphy for the Blackbird, throwing it around the corner. Hard in pursuit is Leo Valero, and he's picked off by the Crusaders. Over the line is Cody Boyce. He's going to throw it in deep to Brandon Burroughs. Comes out front and a nice save. Jacob Russell. Russell doing all that he can to keep his team in this game. They trail by two goals late in this second period. French up to Russell. Thrown through the middle, and Pirelli's going to be in a puck battle. Not going to go for icing. He's stapled off by Max Fripp. And a nice move by Peter Haas to toes around that. He looks for Nowell across the ice and he's going to come up to French. French fires at him deep. Around the net and Max Fripp takes it for the Crusaders. A minute and a half remaining now in the second period as the Blackbirds finally getting some offensive zone pressure. Cody Boyce taking it over in the center. Boyce now picking up space, looking to throw it through the middle of the bird, but it's picked up by Parker Burgess. The shot now saved on the rebound. The rebound comes out with a whistle blown by the officials. So with 112 remaining in this second period. 
We have an offensive zone faceoff from Memorial. again on the man advantage. Looking to cut this lead to one. Of course, in the black... Thank you for staying tuned to those technical difficulties. Joel Beard now to take the face off with 34 to go in the second period. Beard tips that puck in, but it's picked up by Burgess. Burgess back to Murphy, and Murphy's going to fire. Toss now. And now, in now, we'll see. Back to play it as Beard with 15 or now. Here to the middle and it's picked up by Murphy. Fire down showing time on this penalty kill. And it looks like it's gonna run the clock out. Five seconds remain now in the period. And we in the end of this second period. So after two, the Blackbirds finding their way slowly back into this game. 3-1 game after two periods between the Blackbirds and the Crusaders in Manchester Memorial. This game is being brought to you tonight by Adventure Games Paintball, Ware, New Hampshire, Clark Mortensen Insurance and Financial Services, Fenton Family Dealerships, Westside Animal Hospital, and Silver Direct. Please stay tuned for more third period action from Keen Ice coming back at you in about 10 minutes.
Well, welcome back to Two Nice Hockey Fans. Third period just getting underway between the Blackbirds and Manchester Memorial for Staters. Team High starting on a power play here. Puck's going in on Wilson. Wilson just can't quite come up with that. Oh, shooting. Grabbed with the glove by Wilson and the team sent all the way down. Off back to play it. 30 seconds to go on this man advantage. And caught out one. Picked up by Burgess and a save. Jacob Russell. So offensive zone faceoff for Memorial now as Morelli's going to come out to take it against Burgess. Burgess wins it forward. The puck comes out to Jonah Murphy. Jonah Murphy looking to bring the puck over the line. Can't quite get a handle on it. And Colin French moves it to Bolero. So Peter Foss back to play it. Looking for French. French catching an edge there. And looks like stuffing it and scoring. making it 4-1. Colin Fields took that behind the net. Looks like he was going to wrap around, hit the brakes, came out the same side, tucked it around goaltender Jacob Russell. So 4-1 for in favor of Memorial as Wilson picks that puck up in the glove. So the lead for Memorial back to three goals. Blackbird gained momentum late in that second period. However, looking like they've lost it a little here at the start of the third. Over the line is Burgess. Burgess now with a shot, gets his own rebound and pulls it behind the net. Cut sent in hard by Father and played behind the net by Casey Moore. Robbie Nowell connecting on a good pass to Ethan Russell. Russell over the line, getting sent into the bench by Fawla. So offensive zone faceoff is 13.08 remaining in the third period. Pirelli looks like he's going to be taking the faceoff. Pirelli wins it. Nobody's there. And Haas back to play it. Off to Valero. Valero now over the line. Puck's going to come off and an odd bounce. Ben McIntyre is going to pick it up for Memorial. McIntyre moving to the middle. A good move there. And McIntyre misses the net wide. Puck tipped up to Pirelli. Pirelli tried to throw to the middle, but Fields is back to play it. Murphy hard on Fields. And Murphy gets it back on the net. Looking out front for Leo Valero, but can't connect. McIntyre now taking it behind his own net. Wrapping it around the boards, and Colin French is going to pick it up. French wrapping it back around the boards, but it's stopped by McIntyre. Bowed for in the corner by Murphy and Pirelli. Boss now walking the line, moving it out. Picked off by McIntyre, but it comes to the team. Murphy throws that up to the clouds, and he throws it to safety. Trying to throw that to the middle. Picked up by Burroughs, and a good play by the team defense to keep our two Burroughs out on a good chance there. Burroughs again with the puck. Ethan Russell, senior captain, running into Anna Shevitz there. And they pop it up to Burgess. Burgess hard around. Voice with it. 
Voice back to Burgess behind the net. He goes to Voice and then back again to Burgess. Good chance there from Brandon Burgess. But a good opportunity in the slot. Unbelievable move. Robbie now has caught that between his legs on his backhand. And he cut out. And now a shooting score. Now getting a rebound out front and he hammers at home. Making this game 4 to 2 with 10 54 remaining. The goals that I, both coming from Team Defensemen, so some lineup adjustments may have been made. energetic looking to get back in this game. They cut the lead to two. McIntyre over the line. Takes the outside. Laps around. Looks to cross. But Una Shevitz and Hoss keep that chance to the side. difficulties there, but the puck was iced by Memorial, so 9.49 remain, remaining in this game. Memorial still up 5-2. Chase Hill at the point for the Blackbirds. Hill faking the middle, but it's kept out by Burgess. Burgess hard on the forecheck. Gets Moore to pop that puck up through the middle. Moore's back to play it behind his own net. Moore off the boards. It's going to be moved up by the defense and shooting saved by Russell on a good chance there from Brandon Burrow. Puck out front, swipes at it. Great save by Jacob Russell. Keeping the team in this game. Losing his stick on the play. Still able to stuff the Manchester forward, keeping this game a three-goal game. Shot blocked with the skin of beard, and over the line comes Leo Bolero. Thrown through the middle, back to Team Paul in front. And he'll throw it into the skate of Beers. On the board, picked up by Shields. Sent back in by Bolero. And picked up by Beers. Beers to Bolero. Can't quite connect off of this. And looks like the Blackbirds are going to go to the penalty box here as Bolero called for a trip. Had an awkward angle on it from my perspective, but it looked like the Crusader forward was falling kind of on his own, but 
regardless of what actually happened, the Blackbirds down a man with 8.40 to go, trailing Crusaders by three goals. Kyle Blake here for the Crusaders. Shot by Brandon Hurts, loved by Jacob Russell. McIntyre to take the face off against Nowell. McIntyre wins it. Nowell gains position and Ethan Russell picks it up. Russell in his own zone has lost across the face. Can't quite connect. Puck fired in by Brandon Murphy, but it's picked up by Team Peter Foss. Foss gonna shoot that puck all the way down. Back to the loop is Memorial. Cody Boyce leads that puck up to Colin Field. Getting a chance now is Jake Russell for a powerful goal, and now the Crusaders lead by four. Six to two with 7.52 to go here in this final period of Keen Ice between the Crusaders and the Keen High Blackbirds. Manchester Memorial is scoring their sixth goal of the night, put themselves up. Six to two in this so penalty called here. He's Leo Valero was run into and hit up high. I think we're getting an interference call. And Mac Tripp is going to head to the box, and this will give the Blackbirds another power play opportunity. Blackbirds with. Moves that puck to Russell. Russell the call. Off with it now. Picking up top for now. Now it's fire now wide. And Russell picks it up out of the corner. Again for now. Now it's shooting wide in a very similar spot. Getting a chance there is Murphy. down the fall, and Puck can't be kept, comes out to the middle to now. So the Blackbirds getting some good chances here on the power play. Minute to go in their man advantage. 6.40 to go in the game. As Ethan Russell takes it in his own end. Peter Foss now is at the point. 45 remaining on the power play. Russell Tipped it back to Foss. Foss looking to the middle for Murphy. Can't find him. Foss will be sent down but kept on the blue line and then out to Foss. Over the line is Ethan Russell. Russell with it. Into the corner. Russell behind the net. Finds Murphy but Murphy can't get a shot off on net. And a good chance. Good keep there from Ron Nowell. And Nowell lining up shooting wide again on a slap shot. Five seconds to go on the front game for the Blackbirds. Hoss hooked up there and run into. Murphy with a chance. Murphy with a cross. Please can't connect. So Beard with it out front. Man out of the box for the Crusaders. Shot down on net, so the icing is waved off here. As Peter Hoss moves around Brandon Bird. Hoss looking back for Nowell. Nowell battling with Burroughs. Burroughs comes out with the puck. Burroughs finding fields. Looking to go tic tac toe there back to Cody Boyce, but can't connect on the final pass. 
going to extend all the way down in ice with 4.59 remaining in the third period between the Crusaders and Blackbirds. Scots are 27 and 21 in favor of Manchester Memorial. And that's showing on the scoreboard as they lead this game 6 to 2. Puck fired in by Mac Tripp. Weber battling the trip, and Weber's gonna shovel that to center. Murphy to McIntyre. McIntyre was two goals in this game. Rolling through the middle. Weber to Anna Shevitz. Anna Shevitz sends it in deep. Murphy with it behind his own net. Murphy to McIntyre. McIntyre back to Murphy. Murphy around the team defense. He's going to move that through the middle. Puck is picked up. Behind the net now, Casey Moore is dialing. Moore is going to make an outlet pass now, but he's going to escape. And that puck is going to come out and offside with 3.54 to go in the game. Neutral going face off in front of the O zone for the Blackbirds. As they bring out, it's like Russell with Mowell and Jonah Murphy on the wing. Now to take the face off against Brandon Burroughs, number 10 for the Crusaders. Peter Haas, senior captain of the over the line. He's going to fire that in, and it's going to hit high off the netting. So a neutral zone face off taken at center. by Burgess. Burgess around wide. Burgess looking out front. Can't connect on a stick of voice. Stepping up there with Colin French and Peter Hoster. Hoss up the board to now. Now over the zone. He's running to there but remains in possession of the puck. So back in his is Colin French, and he's going to send that all the way through. We have picked up by Chase Follower. Follower's going to throw it through. He's not going to make contact with anyone, but then it does make contact with goaltender Jacob Russell. Call off the ice. And three minutes to go in the game now. Blackbirds trail by four. And Brandon Burroughs is going to get a chance. up the wing, and that puck is going to get sent into the Blackbird bench. So 2.36 remaining in the third period. The Memorial Crusaders leading 6-2 over your Blackbirds. Puck goes through center. for Pirelli, but can't connect. Over the blue line now is defenseman Casey Moore. Moore's battling. He's hit from behind. And Puck gets moved to Beard. Beard trying to look across the ice for Noah Pirelli, but he can't connect. Valero making a play to keep the puck on the boards. And it comes back to Pirelli. Pirelli looking for Beard. Can't quite find him. It's picked up by Brandon Murphy. He's going to send that all the way down and it will go for an icing. One minute and 38 seconds remain in this third period between the Blackbirds and Crusaders as more technical difficulties. 
hole here. Too. Murphy out of the court, moving around McIntyre, but McIntyre knocked him off the puck. Colin French with it. Music to Haas. Haas to Schnell. One minute to go in this game, and now fires that. It's going to be on net and a face-off. Whistle blown with 55.8 seconds remaining in the game. Blackbirds will get Luke Weber out to take the face off with Connor Johnston and Ray Nanashevich to his wing. Puck kept by Chase Hill on a good defensive play there. It is picked up by Brandon Burroughs. Burroughs over the line. Burroughs moving it back. Stop there on a one time chance by Cody Boyce and it's blocked aside by Russell. At the point is Murphy. Murphy firing that puck. He's going to be sent all the way down and out by Casey Moore. So 27.1 to go in the game as the Blackbirds trail the Crusaders. 6-2 in this game at Keen Ice. That should just about do it. Weber clearly wins that. Battling in the corner now. Has a voice. And I apologize. Lucas Puck. The puck gets thrown through center. Murphy firing that off the glass. Weber to Hawk. Hawk kicks that in. And it's picked up by Joe Field. Field to Murphy. And his time expires. So the Manchester Memorial Crusaders knock off the Team High Blackbird 6-2 in this game. Thank you for tuning in and watching this broadcast of Keen High School Hockey. Have a good night.